All right, we're going to do a comparison today between the Jayco Octane Toy Hauler and the Jayco J-Flight Bunkhouse. We've been using this Octane here for the last several years. It's the uh, T24Z model, and uh, we love this camper. It's been great. We've recently bought the 26BH. It's right across here. 26BH, the bunkhouse, and... Uh, uh, grandkids. We got two grandkids, four-year-old, six-year-old little boys that travel with us, and we needed the bunks for them. And uh, you could argue that the uh, toy hauler has drop-down bunks, and we're going to look at that and talk about that for just a minute. But there's a reason we switched from the toy hauler to the bunkhouse as much as we like the toy hauler. We're going to take a moment today to talk about that. Let's go inside the toy hauler here for a minute. Looks like a uh, cat is uh, joining us here for uh, a few minutes. Saw the camera, got camera shy, got out of here. So here, here's the biggest difference, all right, between the, between the two uh, campers and why we switched to the other one. Toy haulers have no storage. Uh, the idea is to create this big box that you're looking at right here, a big box so you can haul your toys. So you can put your ATVs or motorcycles or golf cart or whatever in the back of it. It's made for a big garage. So there's no storage around the outside. There's no storage under your, you know, under your benches. Uh, you know, these are made to flip up against the wall. So it's a mechanism underneath the benches and underneath the couch and so forth. So they flip up against the wall and get out of the way. The bunks, of course, are made to collapse and go up against the ceiling. And uh, they're, they're down a little bit right now, but they go tight up against the ceiling. So you have clearance uh, to get the roof of your uh, ATV or something like that in here. And so there's no storage. There's no storage along the sides. There's no uh, hatches along the sides. Uh, in fact, on the outside of this particular Jayco, there is not a single hatch to put anything in. Uh, inside here, I'm going to show you the little bedroom in the front. Uh, one of the things we didn't like doesn't have a separate bedroom. I know it's the 24Z model, so that makes it just a little bit smaller. If you get the bigger model, you'd have a bedroom in the front, uh, but you're adding a lot more weight. And so the 24Z model has this bedroom in the front that, you know, is, is only accessible here on the, on the slant. And there's storage underneath the bed, but half of it, uh, half of it over here contains the generator and the hot water heater. And so your storage is only on the uh, one side here. I'll lift it up so you can see here can't see super well because of the lighting but there's the only storage on half that's the only storage you have down here the uh, bathrooms in the front and that's filled of course with the shower and the toilet and all those things so there's no storage there. there's not a single hatch on the outside of this so when we went camping with this camper we had to put all of our storage in totes inside so we had a tote full of our water hoses and a tote full of some of our uh, sewer hookup components so there's, there's a place to put your hose outside we have a lot of other stuff, a lot of ho uh, uh, attachments for different uh, scenarios you run into and clean outs and things like that. We had to put all those in a tote. All of our um, camp chairs and uh, outdoor things are, are, are were just inside. And so when we get to the campground, we had to unpack. We had to unpack all the totes, unpack all the tools, unpack all the lawn chairs, unpack all the, the, the mat outside and the lights and all that stuff. Whereas in the bunkhouse, we have storage for all that. Uh, it's all put away. It's all inside. Now we don't have this big floor space. We certainly can't haul a toy, uh, but the bunkhouse gives us a lot more storage. And so, uh, let's walk over there for just a second. There's the cat right there. Camera shy again. He took off. But uh, for example, the bunkhouse has storage in there, so I can put all my. Uh, my, my, my hitch, my leveling arms, my grill, uh, my canopy, my pop-up canopy that I put up, all my lawn chairs, all those. There's another um, storage area in the back, uh, which I won't, won't get into right now. Another storage area in the back there. Uh, but then inside, and uh, I don't think I have the... I got the other one hooked up at the moment, so this might be a little dark. But I got storage under the under the couch. I got storage under under the booth. I have storage, of course, under the bed. I have storage under the bunks. Uh, I have a couple outside storage, so a lot more storage, a lot more storage in the bunkhouse as far as uh, hatches and things like that. You just lose your floor space. You lose all this floor space you have in the toy hauler. But um, 
The drop down bunks have been fun. They've been great. It's just, you know, something you have to kind of have to put away every day to get out of your way. And again, the bedroom in the front there, that bedroom in the front, you just, it's, a, it's hard to obviously to make the bed, get in and out of it. You got to watch the cupboard there. And so you got a lot more storage on the bunkhouse. And uh, gives us, obviously, with having the bunk beds now, for the grandkids, uh, rather, it gives us a place to go. It gives them a place to get away. It gives them a place to go um, and just kind of uh, relax during the day without having to, you know, as soon as we put these bunks down, we lose a lot of our uh, area inside. And so with the bunks, they each have their own bed. They each put their stuff in their own bed and have a good place to go.